CCS has been demonstrated to be just uniquely valuable to meeting all of our climate change goals. It's, it allows us to tackle decarbonization problems in power, in industry, in the provision of heat. It also is on the critical path to removing CO2 from the atmosphere and reaching the 1.5 degrees goal. So CCS is a, it's a suite of technically mature options, so the technology is ready. The issue is deployability, and that means business models against which, against which the private sector can invest, and that's the real gap at the moment. I think it's important to be able to articulate the counterfactual. So what will be lost if we can't do CCS? So in this we can think about the number of jobs, for example, in different parts of the country and indeed different parts of the planet that will be lost if we can't. And also then the opportunity to create new jobs in other parts of the economy if we can go ahead. That's one really key advantage of doing CCS. So what's fascinating this year is the extent to which all of the stakeholders, industry, government, private sector, public sector, are really enthusiastic to go and get to work. And what we need to see is this now start to get put into practice and ultimately CO2 be sequestered.